Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today we are going to go ahead and talk about socket and ratchet. Pretty much everything that works as a ratcheting device. We're going to talk about that right now. So the first thing that you should note is that there are metric and there are standard and some companies choose to show that with different color bands which is very cool because nothing like having one of these and one of these in the same tray because that does happen especially with medical equipment and i love that these ones here are icon brand from uh, harbor freight you can see that they have color coordinated bands on them so i know that those are metric automatically and these ones here are standard so your standard are going to be in fractional and your metric are going to be in millimeters all right then there are 12 point sockets much like this and then there are six point sockets see that so points are the number of vertices so six point are much stronger than your 12 point that's because these ones here don't have as much gripping surface they only grip the fastener at the corners but then again these ones here have other uses and they can be a little bit more versatile so at the very basis of sockets and their entire ecosystem is going to be your ratchet and your ratchet is going to come in one half inch that's the size of this little mandrel right here um, you can see that this particular unit has got a push button and it releases the socket there's three eighths inch which you can see this guy here has got a spinning head and the spinning head is a cool feature for quick driving sockets so that's a three eighths inch and then we have quarter inch, which, do I have quarter inch here? Do I not? Ah, here we go. <laughs> Hidden. So quarter inch, which is the baby. So ratchets have almost all the same exact features. Someplace on the ratchet, usually on the head, is going to be a directional changer. So that's going to change what direction it ratchets in and what direction is the drive you can see I've got a, a variety of different ones. So sometimes it's not going to be here. Sometimes it's going to be up on the top. There's, there's all different varieties of ratchets, but there's almost always a directional. And there is usually, on any of the good ones, a socket retention system, which you can see on all these, there's a push button, which is so nice. Oh, look at this. This one here has got a different type of directional. It's got the twist style. Not my favorite style because it adds a little bit longer uh, head, which can be a problem. And this one here also just has a spring-loaded ball retention. So on all sockets, down inside, you can see that there is a little notch cut out of all four sides. And that notch is what is retained by that little ball on the head. Let's see, I gotta make sure I put these back because that's one of the things I'm really strict about. So you have your short sockets, like these ones here, and then you have something called deep wall sockets. These ones right here. So you've got 12 point, you've got six point, you've got shallow sockets and deep wall sockets. And then you have things called extensions. Look at all these extensions right here. And, and trust me, the moment you need one is, <laughs> it's, I've got so many different types of extensions. This one here you can see is called a wobble extension. See how the head is got a, um, it's got a very interesting cut to it. That's because when it goes on there, it allows the, the, it allows the socket to wobble back and forth a little bit while it's still being driven. So that way there, you don't need a U-joint. You can still deliver most of your torque from one to the next. So these are extensions, they also come in half inch, three eighths, and one quarter. You can see right here is a quarter wobble extension. So those are extensions, definitely an essential piece. This one here is a half inch extension, big old, big old bad boy. So we have different types of sockets, like we have bit drive sockets, which these ones here are metric, I believe, yep, blue, uh, with all the stuff that comes from Harbor Freight, Blue equals metric, while red equals standard. These are connected to sockets. See that, how they're quarter inch drive sockets? And then down here is hex. Very useful. 
they deliver a lot of torque. So that's the thing you have to keep in mind is as you use longer extensions, the amount of torque that's delivered from your ratchet or from your impact driver, like this guy up here, uh, that torque is minimalized the further the, the source, which this is the source, the further the source gets to the destination which is going to be your fastener. So the shortest extension possible is usually the best. So remember that. Now let's say you have an extension or socket and you want to be able to articulate it. You know, you don't have a straight on access, which is usually the case. Then we move to something called a universal joint. So U-joints, let's see, do I have any here that are really notable? I've got the nice, nice ones. So these here are impact rated U-joints and you can see how they bend at a pretty steep angle. So it allows me to drive at probably what a 30 degree angle. Super nice impact rated. Ah, here is a half inch, very heavy duty. Now these ones here, well, who makes these? Are these Husky brand? Craftsman, Craftsman. So notice that these ones here have a star pattern. That's a way to increase the amount of torque um, between the two and strength by adding more material and yet allowing it to articulate. You can see that, pretty cool. So that's half inch. We have, let's see, I believe I've got some star bits. Um, you can see right here, these are 12 point or star sockets. Um, all different types, right here is a quarter inch wobble extension. Let's see, oh here, some torques. Definitely some, they call them star point, but they are torques, security torques at that. You can see that they got holes down the middle. Often your sockets come in sets, which you can see here, I've got multiple sets. I've got standard, I've got metric, and these ones here, I don't actually use that often unless I have a job where I've got to grab something and go. To which I just grab this guy and I run. You know, if I, if I gotta go and solve a problem around the car or something, instead of grabbing an entire rack like this, I can just grab this set and go. Very cool. So I, I do love these. Milwaukee is the set that I use every day because it, it interfaces with my packout unit. But uh, here's a Craftsman set. And uh, this one here I've used for years. It's a good set. And you can see here, this is part of the same ecosystem. These are the mini ratchets that I've talked about before. I've got a whole video on them. Check them out. This is a double-ended ratchet. Very cool, still uses a lot of my different bits. But uh, you can see over here, I've got another Pittsburgh set. And I always keep these sets around just because you never know when you need them. Notice anything different about those? Those are impact rated sockets. These ones right here, although you can, and you might use those uh, with an impact ratchet or with an impact wrench like let's see do i have my impact wrench in here yes look at this you can tell see this guy right here puts out some serious power and since it puts out serious power you have to be careful because what it will do is these uh chrome vanadium they will actually crack and split now even with a warranty you have to be careful because if that cracks and splits it could round out your fastener, which could create problems, but even more so, you have fragmented metal that will shear off and it might fly and hit you in the face, which is why anytime you use an impact of any type, you should use some sort of eye protection. I know I'm also guilty of not doing that, but that's why we have these right here. These are impact rated sockets. And notice how they're all six point because six point are just natively stronger, but these here are a stronger blend of metal and it's got thicker walls, you see that? So those are impact rated sockets and you can see I have an impact rated extension right there and right there, wow, look at that guy, <laughs> that's massive. That's half inch, that's three eighths over there. And what's this? We have a three eighths to half inch adapter. So I could technically plug this guy onto this guy and then use these larger sizes up here. Very cool, no, these ones right here, these are half inch. Right, yep, those are half inch. So I would use this with that, with that. 
But mind you, like I said earlier, the more extensions you have between the source and the destination, the the more torque you're going to lose. That's just how it works. That's physics. So anyway, guys, that is a brief overview of sockets and ratchets. They come in three different sizes normally, unless you like work on diesel engines or something. You have the three quarter inch. But uh, here in the United States, we normally have three sizes. We have quarter, we have three eighths, and we have half inch. That covers most anything that most anybody's gonna use. Of course, there are bigger, but who cares? So sockets do come in sets. Just be weary. There are 12 point, there are six point. I recommend using only six point because it gives you more gripping surface. And also, get yourself some extensions. You're gonna need them. You can see here, I use a lot of cheaper tools. That's because we don't need snap-on for everything, right? It's okay. And these tools right here, if you do have problems, uh, often there's gonna be a warranty on them anyway. But you can see, I have them in case I need them. They do look like they're new because most of them kind of are. But if you need them, Trust me, you got to have them. So that's my uh, socket collection, or part of them at least. I've got, I've got more, like I've got some down there. But uh, there you go. So that is all my collection. Anyway, I hope you guys like this video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe because 60% of you guys are not subscribed to my channel. And guys, I can't tell you, uh, subscriptions really count because what they do is they give some of the people that are looking at helping me with my channel, they give them an idea of my growth, okay? So if I get more subscribers, then it only helps me by getting the message out there and getting people interested and helping me fund this beast, which is a YouTube channel. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy this video.